Hello, my name is Alan Prost and I'm going to give you a very brief introduction to the BiPAP Synchrony Ventilator. All right. This is a, again a non-invasive ventilator so we're going to use either a, a full face mask or a, just a simple nasal mask to augment the patient's own spontaneous breathing efforts. Generally when we put a patient on a device like this they have an intact ventilatory drive so they're going to be controlling their own tidal volumes and respiratory rate and what we're going to do is augment their own inspiratory efforts to alleviate their work of breathing. Now we can use this ventilator in a wide variety of different modes. This is quite a versatile device. It's got straight CPAP or constant positive airway pressure which we can use. We can also um, augment the oxygen the patient's being delivered by using a, an auxiliary oxygen flow meter. So I've got my oxygen set up here and I actually have to set that up on the mask to deliver the oxygen separately, not to the ventilator. So this ventilator does not have the ability to control FiO2. All right? We're going to put the oxygen source either into the mask directly with a separate source of gas or oxygen, and the ventilator will then compensate for that extra little bit of flow, and we'll adjust that oxygen flow to keep the patient's pulse oximetry between that 90 to 93 percent, or whatever the physician has deemed as being most appropriate for our patient. All right? So, how do we turn this device on? It's just simply plugged into the wall. It's got a little on and off switch here. All right? So we just turn that on. Initially, it'll do a quick self-test. Okay? The circuit is very simple. Just like with our other ones, we have a nice little whisper swivel here to make sure that the flow of gas delivered to our patient isn't being rebreathed. All right? The circuit plugs in here and basically goes directly to either our full face mask or a partial mask, all right? our nasal mask. All right? So we're just going to bypass, it asks for a, a service uh, call and number here, and it goes directly into the last mode and settings that we had set up for the patient. All right? so, I'm going to just use a simple nasal mask this time to deliver spontaneous mode on this, which is BiPAP, which is the same as pressure support. I know that's confusing, but this mode of ventilation, whether you call it BiPAP or pressure support, is patient-triggered, pressure-limited, and flow-cycled. So the patient's own inspiratory efforts are augmented to alleviate the work of breathing. Okay, so. When we go to set it up, we have an IPAP pressure, an EPAP pressure. We can set up a spontaneous time so we could control a rate. We could have straight pressure control ventilation, like you're familiar with with other ventilators, being delivered in a non-invasive way. All right? So for our purposes in our labs right now, we're going to stick with the spontaneous mode, which is pressure support, where we're augmenting the patient's own inspiratory efforts. All right? So once it's on, we simply apply the mask and we could use different headgear. So as I'm breathing in, the ventilator is raising the inspiratory pressure to whatever I have set on there. And then when I am exhaling, it's delivering that EPAP pressure or the exhale positive airway pressure or PEEP levels. And even with my bows open, It works quite effectively, all right? Now, it can be unnerving for the patient because they'll get this continuous gas flow coming out of their nose, out of their mouth. So usually the patient will keep their mouth closed. Now, if there's a problem that they can't breathe through their nose, then this would be a poor choice of mask. And we may go to something like the full face mask like I've got here. And we can use the appropriate headgear to hold that in place. All right. So, how do you adjust the settings? All right. Well, we use our little arrow keys here. All right. So there's a little return key here. If I push that down, it activates it, and I just scroll down here until I get to my setup parameters. All right. From once I'm into my setup parameters, I can then just go into actually um, set up a particular mode and just push the return key. All right. And then when I push the return key again, it allows me to use the arrow keys to choose the mode. So I've got CPAP, I've got S for spontaneous, which is the mode like pressure support. I've got ST timed, which allows me to set a backup rate on the ventilator. I've got straight pressure control, 
and I've got something called the timed mode. All right? We're going to play and examine the S mode or the spontaneous mode, which is like pressure support or BiPAP. So when I choose that, all right, come back here, exit out of this, then I can actually scroll up and adjust the different parameters. All right? So using the return key on the parameters and the return key again, now I can adjust the level of IPAP or EPAP being delivered by the device. Okay, so you just have to get in here and play with it a little bit. You can't hurt the, mach hurt the machine. So I can adjust it. Right now I've got it set at 10 of inspiratory pressure. And I'll just use the return key. And now I can set the EPAP pressure to be 4 or 5 or 6 or whatever is required by my patient. I'm leaving it at 4 for myself right now. All right? Then you can just return down through those and use the arrow keys to come back to your initial settings. Now, once it's on my patient, it'll pick up their own inspiratory efforts and start delivering the pressure support ventilation. Now, once you have it on your patient and they're spontaneously breathing, you can actually cycle through and watch it deliver the IPAP and EPAP. It doesn't give you a waveform, but what it does is shows you this little by a little indicator here when they're receiving the inspiratory pressure. So you can see that it's synchronized with your patient. You can also cycle through the different pages to monitor the patient's tidal volume, minute ventilation. You can monitor their respiratory rate and other elements by, as you cycle through that. All right, so I'm just going to let my patient breathe on here for a second. And you can also monitor the respiratory rate, of course, as well. So with a ventilator like this, it's primarily designed to be used outside of the hospital or on the wards of the hospital or outside an intensive care unit setting. It doesn't have a lot of alarms or other features on it so that it's quiet and easy to use. And it does allow us to augment that patient's own spontaneous inspiratory efforts. So we can actually use it to decrease the work of breathing. We can use it strictly as a CPAP device or other ways to overcome obstructive sleep apnea. So we may see this in a patient's home. We can use it for patients who have neuromuscular defects or conditions like that that require augmented support at night or even during the day as required by the patient. So it's very versatile, primarily designed for home use. So my name is Alan Prost. I hope that this little introduction to the BiPAP synchrony was useful to you. Thank you very much.